Procreate Dreams comes out November 22nd and I've got an early access version that I want to share with you today. So let's take a look at some of the features and functionality of this app and let me show you exactly how I edited this video that you're watching right now in Procreate Dreams on the iPad. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Let's start by creating a new project in Procreate Dreams. Let's tap on the plus button right here and do widescreen. So let's start by adding the video that you saw onto the timeline. So the timeline is right here and here we have the stage. So tap on the plus button right here to add. And we're going to do import from files. And here we have the video. It's about 1.7 gigabytes in size. It's a 4K video. So it might take a few seconds to import. So oh, there we go. Now I don't like having white in the background here. So I'm just going to turn the background color to black. And you can tap on this one right here and then turn it to black. Now, this is not going to be an in-depth tutorial about how to use Procreate. That's going to be coming when the app launches. But in this video, I just wanted to give you an idea of some of the things that you can do with Procreate Dreams from a non-animator perspective. At any rate, we have the video now on the timeline. And if we tap on this icon right here, we can scrub through it like so. And we can just tap on play. If you want to see it like this, we can tap with four fingers to maximize it to see how it looks like. So the first one, that was a bad take. So I'm going to cut the video right here. So around 40 second mark, I'm going to split the video. So I just tap on this action icon right here to edit split. And now we have two videos. Now I'm just going to delete this one, delete. And we can now just pick this one up and move it to the beginning. So this is going to be the clip that we're going to be working on and adding some special effects to. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, if I just use the drawing icon right here and start drawing, it's going to say cannot paint on video. That's because we have to create a new track to paint on. So if we create a new track like so, now we can actually draw on it. And in the drawing mode, you might recognize it looks pretty much like Procreate. You have layers, you have the eraser tool, you have a nice color wheel, the harmony section and all that sort of good stuff. It doesn't have all of the features that you use to in Procreate. But if you need more features from Procreate, well, it's not far away. So you can always just draw in Procreate. And if you if you need an asset, if you need a layer or something, you can just pick it up like so, and you can pretty much just drop it in here. So there's not really a huge barrier to have all of the features available from Procreate. But for this demonstration right here, let's just find an area that might need some special effects. So let's go around here where I'm waving and let's pick a nice brush, luminescence, I like that, light pen. Uh, okay, I have a blue shirt on. So let's just pick the blue shirt, raise the luminosity and let's pick the opposite color. The complementary color for that is a yellow. So that's gonna stand out quite nicely. Now, let me show you how easy this app is to use. So we're going to draw frame by frame this animation. And the way we do that is we basically, we just pick up this timeline. And that turns the timeline into a flip book. Want to see it again? We can just collapse it by slamming it down like so. Here we have the timeline. We got all the layers and all the good stuff. But if we just want to focus on the drawing, we pick it up. Now we have a flip book. We have a full screen. Just like so, this looks way more like Procreate already. So what we can do now is we can just flip through the frames like so. I'm just going to place the flip book here because we're going to be drawing over here. And before we start, I'm going to tap on the time code right here and do show onion skin. Now, if you're unfamiliar about what onion skin is, well, it basically means that you can see the frames ahead of it and frames behind. So if I create a new layer like here, and I do this, and then I do you know, this. You can see that the previous frames are shown up to, what did I put? We do edit on your skin. Yeah, up to about four layers we can see. So once we start drawing more layers than that, the older ones start disappearing. So that's a really, really handy feature when you're doing animation. Almost a, an absolute necessity, if you ask me. Let's start doing frame by frame. Cue the time lapse. I'm going to 
collapse the flipbook like so. And now with three fingers, I'm gonna scale the timeline. So with, you can scale it in this direction to basically zoom into it. You can also zoom into it like this, but it scales in both directions. But if you just wanna scale in one direction, so just the X axis, you swipe with three fingers on the X axis. And if you wanna scale the Y axis, you do three fingers like so. So if you have a lot of items on the timeline, it can be really helpful to be able to do this. So you can quickly find the layers that you're looking for. So this right here is the timeline that we just created. And we can select the whole thing like so by using the timeline edit tool right here. And then we select all of it. And now we should be able to just tap on it like so and group. So now we've created a group using this. Okay, let's trial this out. So tap with four fingers and let's play. <laughs> okay, so that took, I don't know exactly how long, but it felt like 10 minutes or so, 10, 20 minutes to do just this. And that is something that you gotta get used to with animation. It just takes time. Animation takes time. Now, the final thing I wanna do is I wanna show you how to create a zoom into the video. So the way we do that is we're gonna select both of these. So the video itself of me and the little drawing that we did here. So I'm going to group those both together. So now we have a single group with both of them in, and we can just expand it like this if we want, but we can also keep it just collapsed like this. And let's take a look at this right here. We're gonna move the action playhead at the beginning, and I'm gonna do move. We're gonna do move and scale, and then we can go to the end like so, and we can do move and scale again. So we'll create two keyframes, and the second keyframe, we're just gonna zoom into it like so because we have both of these grouped, we're zooming also into the drawing. So the drawing should stay in the right place and we can now play the video with a slight bit of zoom happening to give it just a little bit of an effect. Might not even notice it, it's happening so slow, but you can see right here. Now you can use this for all sorts of different things and I'm gonna be showing you how in the future. So you can do cool looking transitions like this. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Or even do something a little bit different like this. You're gonna be seeing a lot more videos from this channel about Procreate Dreams in the future. So make sure to subscribe if you don't wanna miss any of that. This app is so much fun to use. If you wanna check out some of the accessories that are used in the video, like the glove right here or the Ergo Grip or the Pen Tips 2 Nip, then check out the affiliate link in the description. Thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.